this time around on repairing pads, we are going to find an exposed wire, okay? And we're going to take that exposed wire and we're going to put it against my bare skin and see how badly I can get electrocuted from the electricity. So that's going to be quite interesting here later on in the show. But first things, before we jump down that road, before we, before we go down there, we're going to go check out these Bigfoot over here who like to take a nap in the shade of these trees in the evenings. So these Bigfoot that hang out over here by these trees, it's nothing new to this area. They're, I wouldn't say that it's a rare thing to see them, but they do choose on their own when to show up. But we'll see what happens. Let's, let's take a walk over. Once again, Meerkat Cumberbatch, the wholesome adventurer, the quirky, lovable host, goes out on a quest for pain and a bit of glory mixed with stupidity. Watch him put himself in it, folks. This is going to be nuts. Power nuts. Spoiler. <laughs> Enjoy. Okay, folks. I got a little spot back here. These Bigfoot. They love to come and take naps uh, after they've foraged for berries. They love the cool shade. They don't like this dry weather we've been having, though, so odds are we might not be so lucky today. Humans don't even do good in dry weather, so we'll just be patient and see what happens. Uh, but that being said, I did go somewhere recently with dry weather, and I must say it was very, very interesting. Let old Meerkat Cumberbatch show you what I'm talking about. Check this out. Now we're going to try out the new Meerkat Cumberbatch Time Travel app. This app will transport you, when activated, to random moments in history. With your video phone still intact, so you can get video, so you can document it. Let's give it a shot. That's right, folks. It's the Time Travel app. You could visit the friendly late 1800s Western territories of the United States. It's a Western town. Great. With the time travel app, you'll witness unspeakable horrors of the past, present, and future. That's really graphic. Yeah, I wouldn't bother with that time travel app, guys. It's, it's dangerous, it sucks. Just, you know what, just forget about all that. I know you guys and gals were all on board for that Bigfoot, Sasquatch, living Nephilim, UFO spawn, remnant of the lost Native American cannibal tribe, or whatever you all want to call them, smelly, hairy what's its. But folks, this here is way more fascinating. It's, it's very, very relevant, what I'm about to show you, to our times. Squirrel folk are amongst us. And I got the footage to prove it. I've been sitting out here documenting these fuzzy suckers nonstop, and everyone just needs to calm down. I'm fine. They can't hurt me. I keep my distance. Just check out the footage from the other day, okay? While I was out here trying to find these Sasquatch. Check this footage out. Meerkat Cumberbatch here, and we are about to capture some fantastic footage of the rare Bigfoot. Okay, so just hang tight, and we got all kinds of crypto critters just for you all. Great Jehoshaphat, look at that, it's a friggin' fat-tailed squirrel man. We have to keep back. I know I promised a Bigfoot, but this is way cooler, guys. Squirrel men are rare, but hi dang, I got this one standing right out in the open. Squirrel men are related to the Sasquatch, uh, aka, aka the living remnant of the Nephilim giants of old. Uh, oh, I see, I think he's seen us. 
squirrel men are known to have beady little black eyes. If you make direct eye contact, it is said they can feed on your childhood memories. They are go successfully leaving your mind half blank. I heard of one case where a squirrel man replaced a man's childhood memories with an entire audiobook version of Beatrix Potter's The Tale of Timmy Tiptoes. He went insane. Started growing a garden and tended to woodland creatures with care until the end of his days. Poor fella. Got his brain meat all cattywampused by Squirrel Man from the swamp. And just like that, the Squirrel Man was gone. Back into the tree shadow from whence he came. Squirrel Man, right? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's one right now. Oh boy. Wait a minute. Look at him up there, laid out flat. Like an angry fat rat. But we know you are a squirrel man of the highest order. See how they ignore me? And play like they are invisible? It's called fuzzy log mode to some species. I believe the local squirrel folk call it the spectacular freeze move. But either or, it's wild. They think they are so smart. You know, I could just... I ain't scared of you! Oh, dang, he's coming. Digging up the yard something off. He hides his power nuts under the surface so he can dig them up and grab some energy real quick like when they're on the go. It's a lot like those five hour energy shots that I hear. Way to take. He smells something. Oh no, there's a Oh no! There's another squirrel man! It's treading on his territory. It's another squirrel man treading on his territory. Folks, I think we're in for something special. Squirrel men are obviously very, very racist towards one another. And from what I hear, they'll just as soon rip each other's throats out and say hi. See, they love to take each other's power nuts. And let me tell you, this one time, I saw a squirrel man brawl that folks, let's just say, say <laughs> it was Joe. something off. What did I tell you about coming around? Looks like these two girls are going to... Oh, no, there they go, there they go. Oh, there they go. And that, my friends, is what the squirrel folk call a cashew takedown. That's more like it. A squirrel man fight for the ages. Now, squirrel men were hot during this production. <laughs> hey, Meerkat Cumberbatch back. Here we are, folks. Forget about the squirrel men. Forget about them. This is what you came for. You, you came to watch me touch this copper wire exposed while connected to an electrical grid thereby electrocuting me the human being and that's what you came for so i'm not going to disappoint a promise is a promise meerkat does not disappoint so here we go we're gonna i'm gonna grab this live wire and electrocute my flesh <laughs> Here we go, here we go, here we go, you know, you know, hadn't thought about it till right now, so it's like, uh, you know, kind of jazz, jazzing myself into it, you know, by talking a little bit about it right before I do it. I feel like maybe just touching it a little bit is the best bet. I, I'm not sure. This feels very familiar, and I, it feels like I've done this before. I don't know. Something like this. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and do it. Whew. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Got it. Huh. Here we go, okay. You know, you know I, 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 think, I, think, I think, I think I've psyched myself, I think I've psyched myself out of this. I think I've, I think I've psyched myself out a little bit. Maybe, maybe if I, uh, I can't do, you know, I can't disappoint you guys, I can't. I've got, I've got to touch the wire, I'm gonna get electrocuted, you know, don't get me wrong, I've just gotta think about it for a second. Uh, ooh, okay, you know, you know what? Now that I think about it, if I don't do this, one of those stupid squirrel men is gonna do it because they think they're better than us. One of those abominations out there is gonna electrocute themselves, and I'm I'm not gonna let it happen. They're not gonna you know they're not gonna do that. They're not gonna one up the human race. They can't do that. They're not gonna one up the. So here we go. Let's just one, two, three. No, no, no. Let's do the countdown. 
Why? I feel like I'm losing my 